On New York soil, a soul bleeds South Bronx. Rice and beans with an aesthetic of banderas y bomba y plenas, barrio festivities and el museo, hip hop in the walk, rock and roll in the swing of his arm, a body that hangs in front of village store vinyl shops with fat beats that provide hard beats for headphones and head bops for long train rides. A language that rocks to irregular hearts like Puente, soars like a Rodriguez Lopez solo or La Voz singing blues and reds to shake alive our skin. A Pales Matos poem that burns eulogies for the dead on corner candle altars, praising Yemaya Orochun. The walls hold the spirits of the past and visions of the future. He sleeps with gypsies from concrete jungles, swinging premonitions, melancholy man, rays of light. The train rolls seeking fountains of the bride stripped bear. The rhythms of New York inject themselves into his body, seated nude by three dancers who whisper flashing lights of metropolis manifestos in his ear. Spanish mandolin nights, where the bulls play outside in the alleys, Guernica was the graffiti of a king's madness, permanently stained on his own influence across walls that dream, drawing upside down crowns that cut his hopeful wrists at 4 a.m., sat in black moons with white lines drawn through to separate his left from down, a relationship with a body that he's never celebrated, sitting in the ink that he is, framed songs in the painting he is becoming, his love for an island that has disappeared slowly in shallow water, exiled over a decade, knowing the island will never call him, growing in a puppeteer's strings tangled. His soul bleeds South Bronx, rice and bean stories, developing rooted dreams on a tree he watches grow and touches the edge of the sky. How proud he is of the beauty of his tree, how the branches bloom poems, bleed roses and sway back and forth to the rhythm of New York he cultivates it from, the drop of blood that he was, and it grows farther than his dreams, and lasts longer than his breath, and he can carve his love right into the bark. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Edgar Negrón y en el día de hoy les voy a reseñar para el librero When the City Sleeps de Bonafide Rojas, que es... Ok, él es un puertorriqueño que vive en Nueva York y que usa New Yorican como un sello de artista. No le gusta llamarse New Yorican, no le gusta ponerse sello. Y yo conocí de él en una lectura de poesía que pueden ver en la página de Facebook del librero algunos de los poemas que él eh, leyó allí. Y además pueden eh, seguirlo en YouTube, que les voy a dejar el enlace abajo, en la página de Bonafide Rojas, que ahí tiene algunos de sus poemas y están bastante brutales. Este poemario, honestamente, me llamó mucho la atención por el contenido de, de los poemas. Son, muy, son poemas en donde él explora su personalidad, de su, las diferentes vertientes de su personalidad, el ser puertorriqueño, el ser este New Yorker, esas cosas, esas mezclas raras que existen en la vida de Bonafide Rojas, pues él las escribe, él se expresa en poesía y cuando yo fui a verlo, realmente sentí una conexión con la poesía y me creó como una, un deseo por leer el libro de él, por eso lo conseguí este y definitivamente es un poeta que está fuera de este mundo. Mira, yo compré ese poemario y ahora yo no tengo que... Cuando yo quiero viajar a Nueva York, yo leo el libro de poemas de Bonafide Rojas porque tú te sientes como si tú estuvieses con él viajando a través de las calles de Nueva York. First went to the island on my own at the age of 22, fall 99, the first time as an adult. My senses exploded when I got off the plane. Fernando Riaz picked me up. He was attending UPR on an exchange for a semester. Watched the paint chip buildings on the side of the highway. Last time I was here, they glowed in their pastels. With industrialized dreams, assimilated looks, and compressed smiles. When we arrived, everyone knew the New Yorkans were on campus with our fondalum t-shirts and baggy hip-hop. I found myself in Puerto Rico, incubated in the salted sea air, and was amazed by the remarkable trees that lapped at my walk. For the first time in my life, I held in my hand a piece of my family not found at dinners in my living room. I watched the sun dance on the rooftops of homes I used to live in. The revelation was everyone in the neighborhood still lived there except us and we moved 18 years ago. 
I saw one kid, an albino boy, who I used to race in my big wheel with, who didn't recognize me with my New York strut and downtown slang. I greeted him with my broken Spanish that I've kept under my pillow all these years. I love the way the island revealed herself to me on the Calle de San Sebastián on beautiful midnights. I've only seen him postcards, stories I never learned from books of family. This island, 111 miles long, is a story waiting to be read by me. In Guanica, in Rio Piedras, in Lares, in Ponce, in Levitown, in Carolina, in Old San Juan. A story so deep and rich, I found myself in the line breaks, and I show friends my skin that shakes. New York and tradition, American rock and roll, and we break salsa with laughter. They accept me and I accept them. We share stories and rum until the sun rises and the hurricane comes running in. Gracias por ver este video. Realmente es un libro que me ha, me ha tocado bastante la fibra de, de los sentimientos y de verdad he estado a veces a punto de, de entrar en, en un lloradito intenso. Gracias por ver este video. Suscríbanse al canal y denle like al video. Y abajo me comentan qué les parecieron los poemas. Eh, aquí yo les coloco... Siempre Goodreads, la página de Goodreads del librero para que me puedan seguir por ahí y podamos compartir eh, sobre libros que están leyendo y para que vean lo que estoy leyendo mientras lo estoy leyendo. Y la página de Facebook donde yo coloco los videos ahí, los pongo para que ustedes los vean y sepan que ya los subí aquí en YouTube. Así que muchas gracias por ver el video, espero que todos estén bien. Bonafide Rodas.